Well, first of all, you need to identify the leads going into the vertical and horizontal coils. And there it is right there. Let me give you a closer view of it. Okay, remove it. <coughs> there should be four leads, uh, two going into the vertical and two into the horizontal. Remove only the red and the blue leads. Leave the other two uh, in the wiring harness. Now, as you can see, uh, I've already taken out the red, the red and the blue wires. Uh, I've punched a hole through the side of the monitor, and these are the red and blue wires that we're going to be working with. Uh, you need to turn the monitor 90 degrees. The reason is because uh, the horizontal sweep and the vertical sweep are not the same frequency. It's kind of hard to uh, explain except that uh, I guess in layman terms, uh, the x-axis and the y-axis, uh, they're not of the same unit. So if you, if you use the other two wires instead of the red and blue uh, wire, the waveform will be so tiny that you can barely see any kind of uh, representation at all. So that's why we use the red and blue wires for our 12 volts, which is manageable. Uh, if we use the other uh, orientation, is I think something like 35,000 hertz, uh, whereas the red whereas the vertical sweep is, is just uh, 60 hertz. So uh, that's the reason why we have to turn it 90 degrees. Otherwise, your waveform is going to be in a vertical fashion, and that's not very nice to look at. For our signal, we're going to use uh, AC 12 volts. Now, we could look at DC 12 volts, but it's going to be pretty dull looking at DC. So uh, what I've done is... Uh, I've taken a transformer. This is a uh, straight from a power supply uh, from a radio or amplifier or VCR. This is uh, this wires comes from the mains, 120 volts. Uh, it is stepped down to about 12 volts uh, AC. This is AC, by the way, 12 volts AC, and it goes into the filter circuits, and it, where it's filtered out into DC for various parts of the uh, the components, but. Uh, if you take out the transformer, you get AC in and AC out because there are no circuits, uh, filter uh, circuits, and that's what we need. This step is optional. Uh, if you want to add a little color to your waveform display, uh, you can do this uh, step. I've ad already identified uh, which electrode goes where, and basically you need to uh, get the... Uh, matching uh, plug, which I did from uh, cutting out another, the, the PCB from the, the female connector plug, which is this thing here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, this is the female pin. And then I soldered uh, the wires to the color electrodes. Uh, so that will give it a, a color waveform as opposed to a, a white. Uh, waveform. So all that's uh, left to do now is to connect the two together and we should be ready to go. Uh, now I have access to all the individual pins uh, because of the wires uh, that I've soldered at the end here.